So the first thing that uh, is uh, nice about PD Player is, is actually its simplicity. It's a very uh, starts off really simple and then slowly reveals different parts of uh, the complexity of what it can do uh, as you go along. So uh, the most basic users can use it uh, use it right off the uh, the bat without having any sort of hesitation as to what what's capable of doing. Uh, and as you move along, you'll notice more and more features that start to appear, which is kind of a nice thing. Um, Anyway, the other thing that I also like about it is the fact that because of its simplicity, one of the big nice things it has is that it loads very, very quickly. So for example, if I have PD Player closed and I hit load here to launch it, it'll load pretty much instantaneously. Uh, uh, since I've kind of had this in RAM already, it'll probably load faster. It may take maybe one second or two seconds at most to load, but generally speaking, it'll load pretty much instantaneously as you come along. So uh, that's the first thing that's nice about uh, PD Player, very simple. Uh, to work with. Uh, let me talk you through some of the different um, areas of what you're looking at here. Right here is basically where all of the information, all of your uh, frames will be, be shown. This is basically a workspace. It's an in infinite workspace and we'll go through that a little bit as we go along. Um, and then here you have some information that's going on about your clip. Uh, things like for example the, the size, uh, the audio level in case you have audio, your frame rate, how much RAM you have left uh, your the scale uh, aspect ratio your frame number etc here is also pretty straightforward this shade is basically what you're looking at which is here like the RGB channels you also have, can see the alpha the luminance or Z uh, or Z depth and then you have your basic VCR controls that you also have here's uh, the fact that it's uh, gonna loop the frames play just one time or ping pong and then you have a few other features here which we'll go through uh, later such as um, uh, showing the certain properties, outlines, alpha, etc., etc., etc. This right here is your layer information. Uh, you'll notice that uh, basically PD Player is a layer program. It'll load every all the clips in layers, um, and you can uh, work with them uh, in that way. Uh, if you're familiar with, for example, After Effects, it's a very similar uh, concept to After Effects, where basically all the clips just get loaded one on top of the other, and you can edit them or stack them in that way. Um, then over here you have your basic top menu which has a bunch of other uh, settings, your file where you can open and save things. You'll notice that actually PD Player can do enough work on your clips that you may want to actually save your work which is a nice feature as well. Uh, you can actually have different layers you can add here, uh, different stuff you can do with your layers and here. Uh, your playback functions are repeated from here over here. Uh, and different view modes that you can go through and we'll go through all uh, uh, some of those. but. Uh, Mainly that's the, the basic idea of uh, the, the general interface of what PD Player can do.